Let me know if you can hear me okay. because I'm um, not sure the microphones are re responding to me tonight. Let me know if I'm loud, quiet, in between. Please. Harvey. I'll try and sort that now. What am I like now? Am I a bit clearer now? Evening, Mr. Johnson. Screen should be fine. Cheers, Harvey. Right. Now the panic's over with the volume, we could probably do a bit of commentating.
He knew straight away he missed that. <clears throat> it's not crackpot. That would be Mr. Loop. Decent chance. I think he played for the one on the right cushion, but he'll he'll take it again. Good evening. Join Daz Norris in the commentary box. We are spoiled this evening. You are. This Look is like that. this is like royalty. It is. And them chips smell nice. <laughs> you can have a chip if you want a chip. No, you're not right. You're not having a sausage sandwich though. How do you see this one then? It's a good uh, a good game. Ready for tomorrow, isn't it? This yeah, it's a really decent it. warm up. This is a testing shot, isn't it? I wouldn't want to play it. No. A big shot for my kick. Played it well, no. but it's not going to go in it like that. So this is a chance for Andrew Patchett to get 2 0 in front. It was like 7 0 up in the practice, wasn't it? Like it. <laughs> it's always a way, isn't it? So there's not a lot you can say about this. It's about picking them off, isn't it? Everything's clear for him. I'd expect a player like Andy Patchett to get these. <laughs> yes, Mr. Farrow, we usually let you commentate as well. <laughs> <laughs> he disappeared off the face of the planet yeah. as Harvey. He'll be in. He'll be in tomorrow. He'll be here tomorrow, old Harvey. Legend. Full time. Just like his papa. Hmm? So, uh, table looks mint, does. But we should do. Brand new today. It is brand new cloth today. Ready for the big game tomorrow. If you can't get down, guys, tune in. And you will witness a fantastic encounter between Matt Lawrenson and Mikey Tomlinson. What's the pot now? What's the dedicated pot? Uh, 13,500. Wow. And I dare say tomorrow people will turn up expecting bets, but we're going to stick to what we've got. We're not going to be chasing people up for money and things like that. We, uh, we've got better things to do. So if they want a side bet, they'll have to sort that out themselves. Good shot from Andy. Good solid queuing. It's just a drop in, doesn't it? A little yeah. stump. Harvey, if you you a can come down tomorrow, bump. come down tomorrow, Harvey. But no kissing. Yeah, you're always busy, you Harvey, a workaholic. You've got to oh, do it, mate. Blurry. Yeah. So it's two 0 Andy Patchett. A good start. I can't remember the guy's name all last beat, Andy Patchett, here for the league. <laughs> what are you like? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word. So we've got some outside tables going on as well. A couple started. We've got Scott, Bull, Del Shaw, he's 2-1 up. Oh, she refreshes the label. Jason Richardson, good evening, sir. Language, Timothy. What? Paul Camplin, 7 1 against JC. Oh, not Paul Camplin, who was that? Uh, oh, that's, he got six start, that guy, yeah. didn't he? Yeah. Stop swearing. Good, Steve. <laughs> Who's on what ear, does? Have we got colours on? We don't know. No, it's just broke. Just broke off. Who broke? Did Andy break? Michael. 
So uh, he's got his work cut out, really does as Tomo. It's only a small pot this, but it's a good it's a good guide for tomorrow, uh, to be honest with you. It gives gives him a chance to get feel at table. Yeah. We've just been a new cloth. And the, the lad he's playing tomorrow, Matty, he's a great guy. Uh, his his parents, Carlton, absolutely top class. They they tin up in in the droves and uh, the atmosphere near tomorrow it's gonna to be off the scale. Looking forward to it, does he? Yes, really looking forward to it. And then we've got the return match, uh, which will be uh, probably a couple of months down the line, I would have thought, uh, over at uh, in Wigan at Q8. Looking forward. I've not been to their club yet. I'm looking forward to that. I might even book an hotel for that night. Get a coach low back. It's not that. It's when you get drinking with Matty's dad. It just <laughs> never ends. Yeah. He doesn't know when to go home, doesn't Carlton? I think it'll be close tomorrow, Harvey. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a close game. I, I honestly believe 25, 24, 25, 23, either way. It's that close. Paul Smith, you little beauty. Who is that, my mate, Booking Goa? He's in India. He'll be on the Bombay. It is. What time will it be in Goa now? Not a clue. <laughs> I'm not asking Dad where your pouch is, that's disgusting. Bit of, bit of feedback there. <laughs> what have I done with that? Sorry about that. Of... Oh, don't worry about that. I don't know what I've done with that then. Oh, I bet it's on my desk. <laughs> I bet it's on my desk at home. Nice tip. That's my one. Yeah. Well, this is Mikey's chance now. I mean, a player of Mikey's uh, ability, you'd expect him to get these, wouldn't he? Yeah, he's got plenty of room in there. I think he's going to be playing on that ball now, does. It's the black. Does yeah. the black. Where does the black go? Does it go in the Good. right centre? Top right. If no. it goes in the right centre, then he might leave this red near the two yellows to last and drop in the gap. It does go in the centre looking at that, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does, yeah. So he'll probably leave the red near the two yellows to last, which he is. Oh, he's got a nice little flick there. Mm. So it's one in the right centre, one in the top left, then bottom left, and Dolly the black in the centre. Nice shot there, but I tell you what, on a new cloth, this has got to be sweet. He's going to screw this back out. Yeah. So uh, this is. I tell you what, it's still got to be. You can play for the gap, or are you coming right? Yeah, you got to play for the gap between the two yellows Ooh. for the black in the right centre. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> yeah, it is, but he's uh, he's just got to pot it and run through a couple of inches, probably. Camera angles are deceived. It looks pretty good to me, though. It looks perfect to me. So, a little bit of good queuing needed. Predictions <coughs> for this game a race to 15. 15 12. I'll go tomorrow. Got it. Sorry. <laughs> 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 Well, <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> yes, we're trying to keep it professional in here. Miss Price. Paul Sykes says hello, Andy. Mr. Sykes, yeah, another blast from the past. How are you, pal? It has been a long time, mate. Are you still on uh, Ackworth Way, Paul? It's a good 
game between these two. I mean, uh, even though I, I know I played Andal here, but he, he's a little bit under the radar still. Is his patching? You reckon? He, he's, he's quality, mate. He's quality. He's a good player, yeah. He's he's a lot better than people think, uh, and I think you haven't seen the best of him yet. <clears throat> he can put you under the cosh, that's for sure. I don't think it's going to be a late one tonight, do you? The way these two are flying through. Yeah, it. but I think we've done the right thing by capping to 15s on the on these nights. You know, like yeah, you don't want too much. No, don't want too much. You've got to be careful. He can play the one in the bottom left. He can. He just needs to drag up back. He wants to be in line with like the black spot sort of thing. He's under it though. He needed to be eyed up so he could stun between the gaps. So Can he, he might even pop, pop through that gap now. I think he might be potting and bumping the black now. Oh, that's not a bad idea. If he can get through the gap, yeah. He's, Needs he's luck a, though with that yeah, one. Yeah, that's why if he needed a little bit higher up, he could have punched through the gap. Yeah, and got, in the bottom got up there, couldn't he? Yeah, this might go for yellow in the top like this. And I tell you what, it is close, does. That's a real squeeze. Yeah, <laughs> it's a quarter ball, it's a plain ball. Quarter ball shot off the yellow in the top right. Don't forget we heard it first. Well, it's going to be close. to get this. What a shot. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm in the wrong job. <laughs> I'm in the wrong job. <laughs> this table just been re-cloughed, Harvey. We uh, <coughs> uh, table five as well. And I'll tell you what, I had a little game on it earlier. And I'm not blowing my own trumpet because I, I can pop my lamp shades, as you know. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> no, on a serious note, the table's playing that easy. Uh, it got boring because you're just not expected to miss. But you all, you know what this table is—a tough table. In a couple of weeks' time, it's going to be uh, it's going to be tough. But it is what it is. Every table plays easy when it's cloughed up. I think Mark needs some new jeans in the background there. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I know. Look at the state of them. <laughs> It's all the fashion, you know, it's all the fashion. And Dale Shaw on the outside table, he's, uh, he's playing a lot of pool lately as well, you know. Do you know we've got this view on now all the time as well? So if you ever wanted to see the top camera, you can just always look down there. Oh, I didn't notice that. What have you done there then? Just, it's just there, there for us only. Ah, oh, right. Mr. Bamford says hello. Good evening, Paul. So did all right, didn't he last weekend, Mr. Appleton? Didn't do too bad. Yeah. Anyone think you'd held a cue before? I had a good weekend last weekend. Oh, he says he watched you. Who was that, Paul? <laughs> You're not wrong, Paul. Yeah, club's doing really well, Paul. Uh, it's it's buzzing, mate. To be fair, it's up there with the best uh, clubs in the UK. I would say. Colours. Uh, but we've got a good team behind us. So, end of the day, I've got pretty much of a little bit of a back seat. But uh, nope, the stream team's brilliant, the setup's brilliant, the mass staff are brilliant, the club in general's buzzing. Good evening, Rob. So it's all good, Paul. You'll have to get yourself down, mate, and come have a look. See, Harvey, I know if you were there on the driving seat, you'd have had them colours on straight away. Oh, whatever. <laughs> he potted one ball. <laughs> so it's, uh, he heard now. you say it, that's why. A tough finish for Mikey, but will he play the black in the middle, off the, ye uh, the yellow off the black in the middle? Or will he try to develop from the yellow in the left centre? Either way, it's not easy. And I just think sometimes with Mikey, he just takes on a little bit too much sometimes. I know he's like a wizard and he knocks anything in. But you've about still got to play. Same play this game. off of that. Yeah, in half there. ball, yeah. Uh, 
to drive. I don't see what else he's got, that's to be honest. Big shot. I really don't. Yeah, but but how's no he going to get onto his next one? Unless now? he's got a good angle, one in the right, in the left centre, to get around the back of it. It's where the yellow goes, and I don't think it goes anywhere. I don't even think it's got a pocket. It goes. It goes bottom left if you're absolutely on it. It go, you know, if like if you're if you're like here. Where does it go? I think it goes bottom left. Mm. Well, so it's screwing off two rails. I don't think he's got the angle. I think no, I don't uh, think he can get get to that position. But I think uh, if you are about sort of here, you can get it. That that gap's bigger than you think. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I'll tell you oh what. what a shot! Oh, that's unlucky. oh why it's in? I never saw that. Shot, did you? <laughs> Not a chance. I, I didn't see yellow off black either, so don't worry about it. That was desperately lucky. Vision. Wow. He's brilliant. No, I'm on in a bit. I'm on yeah, yeah, he picked a shot out there. He was very unfortunate. Uh, was. But it's good to see that he sees these shots. So that's a nice opener. But this is a great chance for uh, Mr. Patchett. I think I would have moved four one up. I think I would have moved them too, you know. Because that was, uh, I suppose it was a little bit awkward. It's uh, nothing to do really, is it? No, not no. Them two of the last two balls. Yeah, yeah, he's okay, but. It's good to see that uh, Andy Patchett's playing his game, his own games from here now. So if you do want to play uh, Andy Patchett in the White Rose, get yourself forward. <laughs> yeah, I think Harvey, I think we're both in the same boat as you there, mate. Like I said, I knew this game tonight it was not going to be a pushover. No, it's good. Yeah. <coughs> Worst case, wake up call, isn't it? Just, if he if he doesn't just, play well, he's okay. He should have these should have been his last balls down here, but he's still okay. I think he can stun this in, and the red in the right centre. Black goes Giving, everywhere, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, black goes everywhere, and yeah. the top red goes anywhere. So yeah. you'd expect this to be frame over. Oh, he's lost the white there. I don't know. For what? me, well, like. Was he trying to get back up, like right up here yeah, somewhere with yeah, that? But you know, you're playing on a table that's just been re cloth, so the cushion's a little bit soft. Tim Davidson, good evening, sir. It's a big shot now, and the cue ball's not a given. So it's a soft stun. Ooh. And I'll tell you what, he might have got it in the well, That's That's a tell you what, it's a chance that's uh, gone begging there. Why is there two dots on the table? It's for the head spot and the black ball. <coughs> that's where you rack up the balls. Tim, front nice ball on the head shot. spot, black ball on the second dot. Nice. Otherwise, you can get players just pushing up the rack a little bit, which uh, if you push the rack up half an inch, which a lot of players do, then you're guaranteed a ball basically in the centre or a wing ball. I don't understand why people do that, to be fair, but if you look at a lot of pool tables, above the spot there'll be a... a a dentation on the cloth, and that's basically because players are cheating the rack. A shot of Chris Grimshaw there on his phone, bringing Coddles up, trying to get a big bet on. <laughs> White and red's going to go. too bad Paul I'm having a, a good run I'm playing in the Masters events now I'm still playing for England uh, I've been away last weekend had a great tournament uh, in London uh, game's pretty good uh, not as sharp as I once were Paul uh, but I would say 
Yeah, doing okay, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Long time since I've been in this oh country, no. booth, mate. We don't. We know it. <laughs> we just lost it there, but he didn't want the kiss. He, no, he tried he to come round the other side. Can he get through to that one in the centre, though? I'm can he just sure about get through to it? I'd say yes. And yeah, he's he been can. fortunate. It's yeah, he can. that's lucky. So it's just a plain ball, bottom, bottom cushion, and round about the blue spot he needs to be. Oh, that's going. That's going awry as well. Stop! 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 Right, so now right. then, he's okay. Yeah. Do you play the one in the top right, and then come back round to give yourself more space? Would you seriously? I would, yeah, See, this is why this I'd is why you're a lot better than me. Right, yeah, because he's got more margin of area. To play the one in the top left, which you might want to play, you, you could get a bad flick on the yellow and drop behind the yellow. Yeah. At least the top right, he has no no obstacles. Well, there you go. See, Paul player's brain as opposed yeah. to a numpty sitting in. Oh, he talked himself out. I think out he's got to play this shot, you know. He might well change his mind and try and stir onto the yellow, but I'll tell you what, for me, it can go wrong. I think the right shot is the first shot he was picking. Red top right. A little bit of left hand side, two rails and back out. Yeah, he's, uh, he hasn't caught that the best. So now he'll, he'll play this in the top right, and he'll play this with a little bit of a clock on the cue ball, four o'clock, a little bit of right hand side, two rails and back out. That's where he's going. So watch the side on this cue ball and play it. Tighten the knuckles. He might even get a kiss on the yellow hanging over towards the middle. He's playing opposite that. There you go. Great shot. <laughs> Cut off his comment. <laughs> Harvey, you're out of order. Uh, depends how much you want to pay him. <coughs> pay him. Harvey's a nutcase. Yeah, there's point. always a, yeah. depends what you want to pay, uh, Tim. If you want a brand new queue, a top end queue, there's always plenty around. If you're uh, on Facebook, if you go on, uh, just type in uh, Queues UK, yeah. uh, and there's loads come up. There's absolutely tons. Whereabouts are you from, Tim? Whereabouts in the country? So it's uh, it did, three apiece all of a sudden. People say I'm a system Evening, Joe. Back with the game. Dad and Norris messing about again. Yeah, sorry guys. Yeah, we will get the colours on, pal. <laughs> Tomo's on red, isn't he? Yeah. I'm going to put you in charge of colours, see how many times no, you forget. I, I forget as well, mate. Honestly, I even forget what date is, never mind the colours. Oh, wanted an angle off this, I think. Side scores on the top side. Can you see this at home? Can yes. Yeah. Yeah. What's happened to <laughs> us and uh, Daniel? Nil nil. Oh yeah. Where's that table? Seven. Table seven. Are they even using the scoreboard? Uh, I hope they are. I'll have a little look. <clears throat> Maybe they're not. I'll go and have a word with them. Yeah. I'll just have
It's a nice shot. Has he got enough? Ooh, that's going to be tight for this last next spot. Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, that's unlucky. Just needed a little bit more on that. He had to play it with loads of sides, I think, to kick it in. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, just go on there, Tim, and uh, have a look, mate. Uh, if you have any problems. If he lives, Tim, if Tim lives in Leeds, he's perfect for craftsmen, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, if you're... If you're from Leeds, go nip down to Craftsman's. It depends your budget, mate, what you want to spend, basically. <laughs> the nice thing about Craftsman's is they've got them all on the rack. You can pick up yeah. as many as you like, have and a go as, have as a many go as you them, like. It's a nice little touch shot there from uh, Andy. <laughs> Michael was unlucky in the shot before. Left an outside edge. Yeah, I missed that. Right. So he's not only got to hit it, he's got to try and get... Oh, he can see it. Will he play the, the double? Double into the top bank? No, he's not, he's not hit it. Has he pushed that yellow just safe enough? Well, if he has, nah, he he's going to hide behind it. That's a good shot. That's a lovely shot. So it's a two railer again. <laughs> Tight in the bottom, towards the bottom right hand corner pocket. He needs to be playing off the two rails there. Yeah, I think in uh, Craftsman's as well, they've actually they actually rack them in price order, don't they? Right to left or left to right, whatever way yeah, around it is. Yeah. If you go around from starting from the left to right, <coughs> that's close, is that? That's very close. Touched it. Oh, I thought he touched that. Even a touch on it would have been nice. Yeah. He's got a lot of pressure, and we're now balling and or we're playing from where it is. It's. Uh, it's game over. See now, I will pick this and put it in the back of the line and play one of them. Play a pot and split. Yeah, you, that, yeah, that, that didn't have much. to come off nice, no, did it? No, yeah. it, things that can go wrong yeah, sometimes yeah. do go wrong. Yeah, that didn't have to come out nice at all. Oh, so, okay. <laughs> you leaving the one on the ball line or do you just play off that now? Uh, Doesn't matter now, does it, yeah, where the black it's is? Be his last ball on the ball line now. Dolly's for Andy, these. Yes. He Give does really well, does Andy, doesn't he? Yeah, he's a good player. There's no two ways about it. Yeah, yeah he doesn't do anything stupid and, uh, and rash. Uh, for me, if you, if you ask me, he's slowed down a touch enough. Done. Might be all the difference. Yeah. So he resumes the lead, 4-3. So, tom has got some work to do. He's in a game. Half titanium, half rosewood. I've been using <coughs> it for about 25 years now. Tim, are you the Tim Davison that used to play with in our leagues with us years and years ago? I think you are. I know a Tim Davison from Leeds. So... Scratch off the break. Yes, I've got to agree with that one. It is a good game, Harvey. So we're obviously going to be going Reggie's on Michael. Did you put them on? <laughs> Jesus. Does his walk up. Do you know what? I put him on and he, had, he wasn't actually on red because he had ball in hand, didn't he? <laughs> he that did, first yeah. one a free shot. A <laughs> bit premature. Yeah. Story yeah. of my life. <laughs> Never saw that coming. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, we're off. Welcome back to Coventry. Yes, uh, Danny. I'm going to be in and out, pal, on Saturday. It's going to be a good tournament, that. Uh, but a lot on, so I'm. Uh, I don't know who's doing the stream on Saturday. Does mm, not me. 
I'm here to set up. And he's, he's just in here? Nope. Danny's going to have to do it. He's here. It's his comp. Well, there you to. go, uh, Tim. If you want to queue, <laughs> Paul Sykes, he'll, I'm sure he'll pop down to the club. And uh, what you should do, Paul, if you're looking to sell some queues, you should have an open day down at the club. Uh, and I'll advertise it for you. Queues for sale. And uh, we'll get a nice little stand up in the corner and let people pop in and out and try them out on the tables. And I'm That's pretty sure you'll sell quite a few queues. That was really nice, that shot. Oh, you're here, Danny, so you're, you're going to help out in the commentary. That's good. As long as we get it set up, that's the main thing, isn't it? Danny, Danny's allowed on commentary. He's blooming Yes, chopper. Danny, uh, chopper last time the commentary, I think he was in with uh, Downing. He went a little, little bit wry. He's allowed. You're more than welcome back, to, uh, Dan. Well, I'll tell you what, these two are to in and throwing, and there's not many balls missed. No, this isn't going to be a very long night, is it? No. Well, she's saying that. You never know, pal. Things 15. change. Uh, Wigan. Yeah, about, about three hours from London. About three hours from London. <laughs> Is it? I don't know, Wigan Pete. Got a lot got a lot of soul down there. Has he played it there? Did it just end up? No, there? he's ended up there. Professional me, mate. Oh wait. <laughs> Danny, well, get yourself down as often as you want, mate. If you want to comment out on a Thursday, get yourself down here on a Thursday. <clears throat> I do not mind having a night off commentating. No, it can get a little bit uh, tedious sometimes, can it? Yep. Steady night tonight, though. It's just yeah, it's all right. It's been yeah. games everywhere, isn't it? No yeah, flyer to worry about. Enthralled in the games. It's how many good got on? Seventy-six on as well. It's good. Is that how many's on? Good numbers, yeah. Is that how many's watching tonight? Yeah, That's brilliant numbers. Finally broke our thousand subscriber mark, so we're yes. officially monetized now. Yeah. Do you know some of does? I watch all these money matches and that, and it's starting to grind my teeth, people on big money matches using Facebook Live. Yeah, I know. I it's told you not to do it, didn't I? Garbage. I said to you, I told you. It's garbage. The, the people's playing. It gets more views. That's, the, that's why they do it. Matches and they use Facebook Live. It gets more views. That's why they do it. it gets more viewers, but the quality of the stream is crap. Yeah, it is. And the freezing of this is, is shocking. Absolutely shocking. I just think what it's a, a shot. That's a great shot. I just think it's a cop-out from venues, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, you should have a referee for big matches. I think it should be police when they're really high standard matches and also I think the streaming but we need a proper streamer. Yeah. Oh, I think he played up. I didn't know if he was trying to play up into here then. Just my opinion. Craig Harper, good evening, sir. Yeah, it these is two. Good, it is a great standard, yeah, they mate. They're going to miss much of these two. Nice shot. Oh, that's a brilliant shot. Very nice. And I'll tell you what, he's landed plumber. He is absolutely bang on that. And he's through into the right centre <laughs> and he's a uh, poppycock bingo, weighed in. Is he running on a leather tonight or is he diesel? No, he's playing well. Because he probably forced <coughs> out the way he's playing. Though. Definitely played before. Yeah, he's queuing well, he's playing well. And uh, it's a good game for Mikey tonight. Who's he sponsored by tonight? A patch. He's got uh, some, got some sponsors on that show. Yeah, that's Sharper. Uh, got a good team behind him. It's a good finish. Well done. To the ref tomorrow is Matt Clark. Yeah, be good. I like it when they're ref. It makes a massive difference, doesn't it? Yeah, we still have a game of poker now and again, Paul. We haven't done one for a while, but we've got all the tackles to do it, Paul, and uh, it's been talked about, so we'll, we'll be doing some more. We're just that busy with the pool at the moment, Paul. It's uh, it's finding the spare days, and we actually we've got no spare Saturdays now till the end of May. 
If you are new to us tonight, please get this shared. Please subscribe. Solid break. It's nice. Yeah, improved his break. The, the, break on the, yeah, the white stays. The net stays. You yeah. know, he, he used to lose the white going off more <laughs> than any pool player ever knew. But he's, uh, he's definitely changed a few things in his game. You take this plant on. <laughs> yes, Greg. Uh, you take that on. The plant. Yeah. It goes off the yellow. Big good shot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, get the yellow out of the way. Yeah, he's going for it. Perfect. He'll take that. Has he got yeah. a has he got a next one? What's he on reds? Mm, yeah, he's on reds now. Mm, it's tough for me. Been a bit unfortunate, isn't he? He might can be he forced to play the red in the bottom right. Oh, the okay, I think he can get okay. Is it chip in this? It's, it's a skinny one. It is. He's chasing the cue ball again though. Uh, you can tell when it's just been re-clocked it <laughs> That would never have gone in, in would it? That would no. never have gone in normally. So, this is a... This shot's okay. It's the shot after this that he has to pull off a good shot. Over Too man. far. Just overcooked yeah. it. Can he screw it off the yellow? Can he, can he screw it? Off the yeah, he can get. He, he can, can get, get to the bottom. Ball. I think if he was about. To yeah, he, he, I don't think he can. He can only top it. So yeah. he's going to off the yellow and a little bit of luck needed here. No, no. He's not got it. He's not got it. That's the end of that visit. Needs a good shot now. And likes to look finish, doesn't he? I think because they're mates and it's like a small pot, they're just going for it, and they're just going for everything. Yeah. <clears throat> Bit of exhibition ball, really, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, he's been unlucky not to hit anything there. Yeah, <laughs> and that yellow go, yeah, the yellow goes in the centre. So, okay, get your head out of the way. Oh, that's it. He's out of the way. Okay. <laughs> Four grand per Q, Tim. Wow. That must be a classic. As me thinking my Paris was dear. angle now to get onto this one into the right centre if he needs to or left centre can play for both if he, if he wants £4,000 for your queue <coughs> it's a queue and a half isn't it Tim is that a, a typo <laughs> £4,000 for your, your queue If it's a classic, depends who you play with it, I suppose. It must be a balabushka. Balabushka. Yeah. So, Mikey pulls it back again, 5-5. Five, five. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Might as well, might as well. Yeah, four, Harvey, four grand is a good holiday, but what if you go on 50 grand holidays? Thank you. 
This is Cubal control, my word. Yes, it's... Uh, if it's that gear. But I tell you what, Patrick's played some good stuff as well, you know. This has been this has been millimetre perfect so far from uh, Mikey. Yeah. He's got a good touch as well. Obviously, he's like a bit stuck back around when he gets along the balls. Uh -huh. It's good that he's had a game on it tonight, to be fair. Yeah. Let's get that bit of pace. You've just cursed him. Nah, he's fine. That he's still okay. flies in the middle. He had a little bit of luck <coughs> there, though. Yeah, he did. <coughs> oh, it's a, a nine ball cue. It's a good finish from Mikey, that, isn't it? So, just the black to get the lead. Is this the first time he's been is, in the lead? This is probably the quickest frame of the night as well. Made sure of that pot, didn't he? I'm just thinking the same thing. He, he plays so solid with his shots, and he's, he's a lot of people like. There's a term at Paul Fanny, like, like yeah. pull out of the shot and yeah, like, yeah. commit. So Mikey Tomlinson is the lead, six five, a race to fifteen for the first time this evening, I believe. And that was. Let's see when this frame outside updates. That was a couple of minutes, that frame, at most. Yeah, it's the first time he's been in front. Yeah, it is. Mr. Patchett's big break. And dry. Well, I can see yellows here. First no. yellows are cut back and into the pack. Mr. Noon, no flyer tonight. No, there's been no flyer tonight, mate. Uh, basically, we've got a couple of guys down. Uh, Phil's at a funeral. Uh... Justin's got a game. I'm in and out of the commentary with Daz tonight. So we just thought we'll uh, play it safe. Every table's at it and they're playing a few quid and what have you. So the flyer will resume as normal next week, Phil. Two minutes 34, that frame. Yeah, and you just see Mikey, you just feel that he's hit the zone now. Yeah. Seems to be getting his touch. He, he? We can tell we he's. Uh, his persona around the table is definitely, you know, I mean, it sometimes takes your time to get going and settle in the game, but he's hitting the ball a lot better now. And again, one down the rail, position perfect. And oh, again. He hits him so nice, doesn't he? Yeah, just pop this in the left centre, just run through, top it through. Then bottom right, bottom left, and he can take his pick, really. So it's just about the pace of this shot. He doesn't want to drop right on the rail to leave yeah, no shot, yeah, so yeah. Just probably have to play it off the rail. Looks nice. good to me. Oh, perfect wow. shot. Perfect weight. Absolutely perfect. perfect. So he's just where he wants to put the block, basically. In the left centre is where he's looking. Maybe the top right does. Yeah, he might yeah. even stun it in and play in the top left. He's oh, he's top going right top there. right now, yeah. yeah. Get that. All right, <laughs> just because you played before. <laughs> he had options there, he does. Oh, he's Ooh, playing a bad hello. shot. He's going middle, he's going what, middle now. <laughs> this is a lot tougher now yeah, than it, it should is. have been. He wanted to be able to get his cue to this, didn't yeah. he? How's your cueing, sir? What's the odds? I fancy him to get it. Not like that. It's played that though, it's covered the bag as Well, needed. no, because covering the pocket's no good to anybody there, really. For me, that's one that got away. Yeah. Shot before it. I think he, he, I think he said he got <coughs> an heavy contact on that one there, but maybe. Shot from Andy. Just probably played it too sweet. Just squeezes inside the blackness, doesn't it? Yeah, that's, like that. shot. that's a better shot. Mm. That gives him a little bit of insurance as well now. 
Fancy I need to get these. Why oh, are they playing the top right? Yeah, I was going to say. He's going to leave that on his last ball now in ball. Cue that well. Yeah. Yeah, he plays this in the right centre. Just flicks off the other red. He's got a nice angle on this, actually. Yeah, the ball, yeah. Just drop this in, he's going to bump the red. Oh, yeah, he had Didn't the, need to, he, yeah. he even had a better angle. Yeah. Tim, if you bring a £4,000 queue down, make sure you bring some security as well. My word. Ooh, that didn't sound good. So, Patrick, right. back in the hat. Yeah, probably one he shouldn't have won the as nice well. Nice finish. No, he, uh, Mikey gave him that one, gifted it, but uh, still got to take him out, and he did it in a good style. Harvey, you don't want to be uh, putting that in there, a horse with an horn on. <laughs> Italian stallion. It's on my unicorn. <laughs> Dennis says I'll swap it. Yes, Dennis. <laughs> so, Tomo to break, six apiece. It's a good break, but no. Oh, he has his yeah. ball. The yellows automatically are the balls there, aren't they? It's the first shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Craig, this is how it should be played, isn't it? 12 frames in an hour. Boom. Nice. Yeah, that's a good shot. So he plays the plan now. He might even drop this in the right centre first and get better queuing. But I'd probably play it now. Saving it. And that's maybe I'm not sure. Just gonna try and get yeah, I was gonna say, is he just trying to leave yeah. himself an angle to separate well, these two? Is he gonna pop the middle and bump into it? Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. what I think he's doing. It's obviously not a dead set plant or no, it's, it's not. not easy to make it, but this oh, could go well, that wrong. needed a lot of luck that didn't it? Yeah, it could always go wrong that, but he's got a shot, he's got one into the top left. Where's this one going? Yeah, he's yeah. Got, if he gets the right shape on the penultimate ball, he's got a pot split ball. So he's still going, he's still he's still in a decent position. Oh, that's even. Oh, if that bottom yellow goes, I'm not sure it does. Probably the better shot to play for the top yellow and bump the Just yellow. bump it out. Yeah. He's going to roll this cue ball onto the red. Oh, it's in the centre. Oh my oh, word! <laughs> he's just going for it. Isn't he? He's yeah. just going for it. He's playing a mate, he's and he's just going for it. At the same time, I think. Has he, has he, can he, has he left the red to the bottom right? No, he hasn't. <coughs> Patrick going for the double. I'm not sure that was the shot. To be fair, I'm not sure that was the right shot. No, nah, red, uh, black goes both bottoms, doesn't it? So hasn't got to do too much. We don't pay for the light, Craig. What's up with you? <laughs> <laughs> bit of a static Ooh. there. <laughs> a bit of static from That's Andy's now. It is. He's got not just us straight up and down, isn't it? I think too special to do here. Yeah. Oh, he's going to be bang on it. He was in Northern Snooton last week <coughs> and watching Judd Trump play. Perfect. Nice one, Tim. I was in London and in a bag of sand. Played. Nicely done. You can't give Tom a second chance. Northern Snooker Centre has been good a lot of years. It's a great club. Amazing place. Like you see, it's a little bit laid back tonight. I mean, it's still great in the club. Every table's at it, and they're all playing for a, a few quid. But 
from tonight to tomorrow night. Oh, it'd be completely it'd be different. Crazy. Gonna get absolute the... crazy. <laughs> really looking forward to tomorrow night's match. If you get, can't yeah. get down, tune in and do share it uh, as much as you can because I tell you, tomorrow night's atmosphere will be off the scale. Get the arena set up. Can we give them a show round? Can we? Uh, not easily because no, we've, we've right, set auto focus that. now. You have to wait while tomorrow. Just a quick intermission, guys. These are uh, yeah, 13 frames an hour. I'm just going to leave you for five, ten minutes. Yeah, okay, no yeah. yeah, yeah. And then I'll pop back in. We're good. We're good. This match is not going to be uh, forever, is it? Nah. It's not going to be very long at all. Got it. No, he hasn't. He's just a little bit short on that one. Just needed to just be a little bit lower. Can he get it? Oh. Nah, surely. Wow. What a shot. I did not think that went. Uh, <coughs> he couldn't pot it, but he could get for it. I didn't think he could even get as close as that. Just lost it a little bit there. We're going to see another great bit of vision. <laughs> Pull some shots out of anywhere, this boy. This is the longest we've gone without someone taking on a pot. Yeah, it just tries to kill that red. Nice little shot. Won't take too much for Patch to get that out though. <laughs> Outsides are updating. Rog. Oh, they, they started really late. So yeah, that's uh, that's updated just now. <coughs> I 
Told you it wouldn't take him long to get that out, didn't I? Does it go? It goes bottom right now. It goes both centres. It doesn't go bottom left. Might try and nudge it again now. We'll get below it at least. Yeah, he's nudged it. It needs a bit of luck because he's not got the next one. He's going to have to play top right now. Oh, he's cued that. Absolutely lovely. My word, what a pot. Probably play for the one over the bottom left, but he'll take this. Oh, very nice again. This is how you play pool, lads. <laughs> My word. Superb finish, was absolutely superb. I think they're racing back to the scoreboard now to put the scores on just to see who gets the quickest frame. Currently goes to Mikey at two minutes 34, closely followed by Patch at 2.47. Reds are your balls, but it's just this first pot. To a snooker player, these are. F oh, I've just cursed him, and I was going to say to a snooker player, these are easy. I tell you what, both sets aren't bad now. Just it's these two that are making your mind up time. So if he decides to go yellows. <laughs> this yellow definitely goes definitely goes in here, definitely goes left center, so don't even think he needs to move it. Probably play onto it now. Doesn't play into it now, he'll play onto it off of this one. Uh, he's taking it now. It's okay. And get his cue to it. Just wondering if he wanted to play that in such a way he could play this one and get back this side of this yellow. That's what he's doing anyway. It's just at enough angle. Just needs to pop this up now. Get himself about there if he can. Doesn't need to be any better than that. Yeah, very nice shot. Very, very nice shot. What do we think, guys? Best stream game we've had for a while on a Thursday, without a doubt.
Marnie's just getting a quick uh, refreshment. Yeah, Danny, enjoyable. What we've done, 15 frames. Crazy. Going to be an early night for commentating. Could do with it because we're doing it all over again tomorrow. Tune in tomorrow. Mikey is playing again for 13 grand tomorrow night. Tune in from 7 o'clock for that one. Should be a fantastic game. Matty Lawrenson bringing a coach load over from Wigan. It will be the full MMTV setup tomorrow. We'll have introductions. We'll have a arena. We'll have players sitting at the proper end of the table. Looking forward to it. The only downside is you still have to listen to me. Say, play this one into the center now, move this yellow. Or is he going to go for the double? He's gone for the double. He's never scared of a double. It's messy in that top right now. <laughs> Russ is like <laughs> Tell you what, Russ, it's the only time I don't lose, mate. Played myself quite a few times now, and I said played myself, not played with, before anyone starts. Never lost. Still get as angry though for some weird reason. <laughs> Evening, Bill. Don't think I've seen you on the chat before, so welcome. There you go. Don't give him two chances at a double. I'm just going to do something with these yellows now. Leave Mikey no shot, I'm guessing. Oh, let's have a look. <sighs> I think he'll be happy with that. Can he pot this one? No, it doesn't look like it. I don't think he can get through to the potting angle bottom right. Yeah, Russ, thanks for your kind words the other week, mate. Really do appreciate it. A lot of effort goes into this stream. There you go. Ross T versus Daniel W. It finally got to 2-2. That's going to be a long night. Oh, has he got it? Oh, he hasn't even got second best. I think Patch has got a shot to these... Definitely got a shot of the plant, top right. Doesn't need to do anything clever, just needs to make sure the pot and he's got it. Now, both those yellows, so let me show you what I'm talking about. Those yellows both pot in this bag. Needs a nice angle off the first one, whatever the first one is. Yeah, that's it's okay. I think he's gonna have to screw back on an offside cushion here. The stream angle is quite deceiving at times. got an angle we can play through this gap you can pl can play through this gap and black does go into this bag it's over it that he's over it that so, no i don't think he can pot it 
wondering if he was playing that even further down, you know, to like try and get into this area to play it into the center. This isn't an easy pot. I don't even think you can see the potting angle. Oh, he's gone for the double. Wow. What a double. <laughs> These guys are unreal. <laughs> I wish I was half as good. So once again, join us tomorrow night for this guy about to break. Mikey playing for 13 grand tomorrow night against Matt Lawrenson. It's going to be a good one. himself on his worst ball straight away. Got a decent angle as well. Oh, is that going? He's okay. Wonder if he's looking at this ball now to break into these two. Or will he just leave himself an angle off of this one to get this one out? He's got options but he's got to move got to move this red at some point. longer you leave it the harder it gets went for it there I've got nothing for it now do we see a safety shot Mikey, Pash has got some work to do, that's for sure. Yeah, decent white. Not sure if this red on the left hand cushion doubles, back doubles. He's not looking at it, he's just looking to squeeze in that gap. He's looking at the plant. Oof. Shot enough if he pulls this off. There's enough gap there, believe it or not, to play it. Uh, massive shot that. <laughs> Absolutely huge. get through to this. I'm not sure if he's got a potting angle on it. Might be able to get it in with a bit of side. I'm going to say he can get a better angle if he plays this ball first. Bottom left first, he's got a better angle. Black goes bottom right. He thinks he can get through to it. No. Not happy. Was close. Thought he could have played bottom left there and got himself a better angle. So it should be another frame to patch. 10 7. <laughs> no, he's okay. That yellow passes. This, this one passes into the centre, so he's be alright. Mm. 
flop-ins again for Patch. <laughs> Decent angle. Do another little dot, I'm saying, about there. Well, oh, he's come over side a bit into the centre. Can't say I blame him. Makes it easy. 10-7, patch. They're flying. just saying that he's been working on that break and it's been working really well for him all night but um, that was a loose one we're averaging about four minutes of frame here nice shot it's two of out tied one back up again This yellow does go into the left centre. Does go bottom right as well. Yeah. These are harder than they look. Probably just drop this in. This one now to get himself on that one. This does it pass? Yeah, this pass both both of those reds into the bottom right as well. Uh, he's topping through. Gonna get onto that one now. Oh, can he hold? Yeah, he can. He's got enough angle. He's fine. Lovely finish again. Oh, once they get in, they don't take any messing about, do they? Wow. <laughs> there you go, uh, Andy J. Questions answered there, pal. Ian, all the, uh, all the outside scores are in the top right-hand side of your screen when we're on our normal main view. Um, Danny Wood, Danny W. Danny W is currently 3-2 up against Ross. But when, we, when I switch to the main view, you'll see all the scores in the top right-hand corner. go. So Ian, you should see the scores now, top right. <laughs> yeah, he wanted that to stop dead. Oh, that's a gorgeous, gorgeous little nudge. Just this red to worry about. Really only goes top left.
think this red just about squeezes into the center. Obviously, it goes both bottoms, but just an option for him. So he's going to move the yellow now. Yeah. Oh. Got nothing for that whatsoever. Not sure if it's touching. Uh, obviously not touching. Oh. And again, got nothing for it. What have you got to do, Patch? What have you got to do? as well so I think we'll see a safety here mm. yeah that's one of his bad ones out and what's he got dead straight line that so nothing easy just bottom cushion escape doesn't want to move those two yellows if he can help it or he try and come around the back of it yeah good shot as yellows do plant, you can make that plant into the bottom left. Well, you might see him go now. He's going to move them. Should be guaranteed a pot. Oh, unless he's really unlucky. Oh, the yellow does pass the red into the bottom right. This yellow. This one does pass bottom right. And if you take it and miss it, you're not really leaving a shot. I was wondering if he's looking at that. But you, yeah, I was going to say, you, could, you can easily play this one and not leave him a shot as well. Oh, he just rolled up to it. Surprised. Thought he could have played that and just left the white right up on top cushion up here. Not going to second guess these boys though. I forgot more than I know. Not giving him a shot at a minute. Dave, are you on clear by Yeah, that's it now. So ten nine. Bit of a tactical battle there. And Tomlinson comes out on top.
I can tell these two are enjoying it. They're smiling and joking all the time. Good mates, very good mates, these two. That's why the pot's not a large one. It's often the case, love, to be fair. <laughs> it's often the case. <laughs> yeah. Season pro, I wish I was. Hey, Chris, okay, get yourself in here for a little bit, Grimshaw. Who wants to hear Grimshaw on commentary? Come on, votes, votes. Press one on your keyboards if you want to hear Grimshaw. <laughs> well, we just lost 15 viewers. <laughs> yeah, you can sing, can't you? We just lost another 20. Sorry, something goes red. I shouldn't try and communicate with other people and commentate at the same time. I'm only a bloke after all. Can't do two things at once. <laughs> Andy Rose said no. No, actually, Andy Rose said yes. Oh. <laughs> all right, Nave. Callum. <laughs> Fine. All good. All good. Just try to play into this gap here. Just wanting to get into there. So, we all know that the world's best doubler is Mark Driver. Do we think that Patch could beat him in a doubles competition? In a who is the best doubler competition? Let me know your thoughts. So, Mark Driver, the world's best doubler, versus Andy Patch. Race the 15 doubles. I know. Get him on, says Tim. <laughs> Callum, you're going to get yourself in a ban. is the world uh, self proclaimed world's best doubler <sighs> I think patch takes him down in a race to 15 I think he takes him down about 15 3 something like that It's these scenarios where I just think, what do you do from here? I hate these. No matter what I do, it always seems to go horribly wrong. Oh, it's tight. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you can get that one.
I'm looking at the wrong bloody setting, I, as per usual. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Confident pot into a middle bag, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, go on, Manny. <coughs> Very nice. I don't think I've ever seen Callum have a drink, let alone a shandy. supposed to hear the background music <laughs> do apologize <laughs> i'm gonna get a copyright ban now on youtube you watch i think uh patch has just gone for a quick break how loud is the background music guys can you hear it pretty clear Best to uh, take that noise away. Let's have a look. <laughs> it's fine, Paul. <laughs> I'm glad you told me. Let me just turn it down a bit more. There you go. Has that taken it away a little bit more? see any output on the audio for that camera so hopefully that's got rid of the background music a little bit you should still be able to hear me fine and there should be no hiss in the background hopefully <laughs> sorry Paul Have a look at the outside scores. We've got uh, Ross T34 down against Daniel W. Math Matt C versus Paul C at 6 7 down. Danny and Justin Riley. Danny's 4 7 down against Justin. And Dale Shaw is 8 7 up against Scott Ball. Thank you. 
Hope you're enjoying it once again tomorrow night. Mikey playing Matt for 13 grand. Should be a great game. So tune in tomorrow night from 7 o'clock. I think that's going to be our last Friday stream, actually. Uh, going to try and concentrate on Saturdays for streams. It's too much otherwise. We've got Thursday night, Friday night. Often have a competition on a Saturday. Got a competition this Saturday as well, so the stream will be on all day Saturday. Can't promise there'll be much commentating. It'll uh, be a long day. But the stream will be on if you want to tune in. Just waiting for Patch to come back. Any predictions for tomorrow night, guys? Patch has just come back in, so we'll be underway again fairly soon. <laughs> that break's immense, isn't it? Was that cue ball? Ouch. play red off red I wouldn't have thought so but well maybe he is <laughs> yeah oh that's unlucky there's a red that red does go you can play it off the black right just give him enough as well needs to be high on it though If he was high on this, he would have been absolutely fine. If he was sort of like there, he would have been great. I'm not sure what he's going to do with this now. Black does go. Black goes straight. He hasn't got a good move, the yellow. Oh, that's a great shot. <sighs> Teach me. Teach me. <laughs> yeah, Paul, that's... <laughs> That'll be Mr. Loop. Can you still hear the table noise and that though when they're sort of when they're breaking and potting balls? So try and get a, it's a fine line between the two, being able to hear the pots and uh, not hear the music. I want a decent microphone to put inside that table if I can. Oh, Why well it's kicked in? Cheers, Paul. I think the table noise you're getting is from my mic, actually. I'm just going to turn my mic off uh, for the next shot, see if uh, I can see the uh, camera.
camera. All the sound comes from the camera above the table, so I just want to make sure that's picking it up. Yeah, I can see that's still picking up sound, so we're okay. It's a nightmare with the music because uh, YouTube just takes your videos down and it's a pain. It's a ball in hand shot, so he's not on any particular set just yet. <laughs> yeah, I want to see. It. I just want to look at a four grand cue. <laughs> I wouldn't want to hold it or anything, just in case I dropped it. But, uh, yeah, wow. There's people telling me that I paid silly money for my cue. Four grand. It's got to be in a glass cabinet, surely. Maybe it was like 4,000 yen or something. I don't know. He just put the wrong currency symbol. <laughs> this yellow does pass into the left-hand centre if he needs it. Potted both. Oh, that's really tight. I'm not sure he can see it. I'm not sure he can get past the red to the potting angle. He's down on it fairly quickly, though, so maybe he's okay. Oh, flew in. Flew in off the red. Black, black goes both bottoms, so he's fine. Yeah, that's the one, Andy J. I've got a Paris queue. Um, it's actually my second Paris. I bought, well, I've had three now, but I went to Paris himself. I went down to the shop because I was, I was born in South London and uh, went to the shop, bought a queue. And uh, at the time, I used to play a little bit of pool and a little bit of snooker. So I got myself uh, the nine and a half mil uh, classic. It's like the entry level Paris queue and paid 350 quid for it. Got absolutely slayed for spending that much money on a queue, but it's a queue for life, so I, I didn't care. And then uh, didn't play a single frame of snooker with it, and uh, uh, a second-hand Paris came up. A um, guy called Chris Hart, local lad, and uh, 8.5 mil. So I bought that and then sold me original Paris and then another Paris came up so I bought that as well <laughs> but both of the both of the uh, the Paris's were 8.5 so just kept the one I bought originally and I recently sold that Paris for 500 so I made a bit, bit of money on that but with a decent queue like that any decent queue maker you're never going to lose money so you're like, are you happy with it yeah have you played with it oh okay it be fine if it needs anything doing, just let me know. If it needs more dome, less dome, just let me know. Yeah. But I tried to get it exactly like yours was. I kind of eyed it. And yeah. 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 Right. yeah. Recently purchased a uh, Q lave as well. So uh, looking at doing tips now. I'll tell you, I've done so many tips on cues, and I've sort of manually sandpaper, you know, 
Stanley knife, etc. And the Q lathe just makes it so easy. I don't know why I've been wasting my time all this time. Yeah, Russ, to be honest, Russ, I know exactly what you mean. Um, the reason I spent decent money on a queue was simply because I used to blame the queue for everything. It was always the queue's fault. So I just went and I spent decent money on a queue, and now I can't blame the queue anymore. It, it's, uh, it's basically the person holding it. And I knew that all along anyway. But I paid the price for it. Oh, colours does. Downing is in the house now, so it will get noisy. Nice shot. Paul, a lot of people have said that about Paris Cues, mate. Um, Personally, I don't think 70% of your snooker players can be wrong. 70% of your top pros use Paris cues. Are there better cue makers? Probably, you know, but a lot of people seem to sort of steer towards Paris. I wouldn't say I know enough about it. Uh, Mr. Bamford's online. He's a, he's a cue guru. And uh, he, he says the same as you. He says that there are cue makers that are at least as good, if not better, than Paris. And to be fair, I don't think Paris gets his hands dirty these days. I think it's uh, quite a few apprentices doing the work. I found a di big difference for us when I was went back down to 8.5. You can, I don't know, it just, just for me, I can just see the white, just that much more of the white. So you wouldn't think it made that much difference, but it does. This table now, chalk marks all over it. It's almost a shame to use it after it's been clothed. Yeah, Steve Grice, he makes, um, I think he makes some good pool cues. Um, Jason Owen makes some good pool cues as well. There's, there's so many makers out there. I think some of the, uh, some of the overseas stuff is pretty decent as well. There you go, Paul. So that shows my little knowledge. I don't even know that cue maker. I'm saying that you can, you could pick up, you could probably pick up five Paris cues or five of any cues. And if if they weren't badged, and all you had to do was choose one by feel, you you probably wouldn't choose the Paris. You might choose like a, a 15 quid Argos <laughs> queue. Just never know, do you? Tell you the one thing I can't stand though in the queue is when, uh, when they're varnished. <laughs> That's the one thing I cannot stand. And actually, I like maple queues for that reason because maple queues, no matter how hot and sweaty your hands get, they always seem to uh, queue well. There you go, Mr. Bamford's in. I knew he'd be in. Yeah, it's a good point from uh, Mr. Bamford. There, they are snooker cues. When I went to the uh, when I went to the shop, though, they did have um, they did have some like eight point five off the shelf. But you just wonder if they're like customer orders that get cancelled and and they've kind of been specked out already. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, Paul, you're right. Seven world titles with basically a piece of rubbish, as far as everyone's concerned. 
And am I right in saying he never won a world title after he uh, after that queue was broken? Big attempt that from Mikey. Hey, we've got a Supreme Rules game going on tonight, lads. Uh, Danny B versus Justin <laughs> playing Supreme Rules. First Supreme Rules game we've had at the club. Yellow doesn't go. Every time I say that, they get it close. Yeah. Oh, it's good that we got some uh, Q collectors in tonight. Gives us all something to talk about. does pass onto this one if need be. It's getting annoying now. Just potting him off anywhere. This one does go, but you, you need to be on this line. He's going to try and try and get into it. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> Too good, way too good. What, Ian? What scores? Uh, Ian, are you trying to watch this on a phone by any chance, mate? If you if you are, there's yeah. If you're trying to, Ian, if you're trying to watch it on a phone, top right hand corner of your screen will be like three little dots. Click on that, and it will um, you'll be able to choose the quality. Sometimes the phones choose like a really low resolution. If you Set it to 720. Uh, it should say 720, 60 frames per second. Then you'll be able to see the scores. That's a great pot. Just needs the white to hold up a bit. Yeah, it would have preferred to have been a little bit straighter on it. But the way this guy's potting now. Wow. That's close. Yes, it's there. Let us know, Ian, if it's okay. Good evening, Mr. Keane. See you made the Hall of Fame by John Bell this, e uh, this afternoon. Yeah, Mr. Bamford, I think you're a fan of the uh, Thailand queues. There's insane takeout. You got to remember these two, their mates. They just this is a bit of fun. This is a warm-up game for Mikey. It's a lot easier when you're playing for for nothing really. Black goes both centers. Tight into the left center. 
tight into both centers, but it does go. It does goes bottom right as well. angle to get back over wants to get himself probably about there somewhere like that not too bad and he just wanted he's got a bit of awkward queuing now should be fine though can get himself you know get himself onto this line black does go it just about squeezes into this centre Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> These are insane takeouts, guys, isn't they? Nice to watch. And plenty more of it tomorrow night as well. Very nice. Yeah, Nick, I'm not sure if you're seeing the chat, but uh, Paul's just saying, do you mean Chesworth and not Chetsworth? Ian, let us know if you're uh, if you've managed to sort out the blurred issue. It definitely will be your uh, resolution that you're viewing it in, mate. It won't be anything else. Yellow doesn't pass, it's going to have to go top left at some point. Or right centre once this one moves out of the way. Cheers, Ian. Fell for that a few times myself, mate. It's the only reason I know. Be another contender for the quickest frame of the night. He's walked around to check the angle on this. Yeah, he has got to top it through quite a bit. Yeah, he's okay. He didn't want to play for the gap. Could have easily played for the gap, but decided not to. He's there. <laughs> no worries, Ian. I haven't worked in 90 support for the last 30 years, not to help people out. If you're watching this tonight and you're looking at the odds, you can thank Mr. Bamford for the uh, code that calculates these odds on screen. Accurate tonight as well, because they're both Cat 1 players. in. Uh, he did get kicked in, but I think it was uh, heading towards the pocket anyway, whether he liked it or not. Tell you what, Ian, the actual table must look a lot clearer to you as well now. Paul 
Paul. It's just that we run a category system here. So um, on Thursday nights, all of the games are money games and we run a category system. So when if people offer a game out, you know what category they're in. So you know whether or not, you know, you need a start or whether or not they're your standard. Um, to be perfectly honest, these two cat ones and if it, any other night we wouldn't be showing the categories um, but as it's a Thursday we're showing them on screen tomorrow night you won't see a category on the scoreboard it'll just be blank there uh, but every Thursday we've got <coughs> money games on all of the outside tables so very busy for us lots of fun though players seem to enjoy it and yeah, it's a nice way of uh, arranging games with players of you know roughly your standard Play this off the red as well? No, it's okay. Yeah, play this centre now. Did Mikey get the quickest frame? He did. Two minutes 12 now for the quickest frame of the evening. shot so patch it on the hill well played lovely finish absolutely gorgeous finish and was it last year that Aggie passed away I think I remember seeing that it's a shock to a few people was that one give for a dish now. <laughs> He's making sure of this rack for the first time of the night. <laughs> he wants a dish. <laughs> he wants to take this hundred pound home with him. So if you are new to us tonight, please subscribe. Please click on that bell icon. It'll let you know when we go live tomorrow, and it'll let you know when we go live in the future. But tomorrow night, um, Mikey takes on Matt Lawrenson for 13K, minimum pot 13K now. These reds are looking nice. This one definitely goes top right. He's looking very good here. He's looking very, very good. Oh, sorry, got the colours on the wrong way around. Sorry. Yeah, he's okay. He can get around the back of this still. That's nice. Now, does he come low on it to make absolutely sure, or does he just try to land on it for the, one of the bottom corners? 
Uh, he's played to land on it and he's fine. So Hill Hill can't see him missing this black. I didn't curse him either, that's good. <laughs> it's deserved this, isn't it, lads? All night, it's absolutely deserved this. Tomo to break as well, so he'll give her a break dish now. Even that frame, three minutes. Cracking standard. Same again tomorrow. Maybe a little bit more concentration tomorrow. Maybe a little bit more safety exchanges. Well, they've both gone for a quick break. Back with you in a second. Well, we're in the last frame. I hope you have enjoyed it because I've enjoyed it. It's been a cracking set of ball tonight. Still 86 of you watching as well. for this last frame. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Just these two. And for these guys, they're no problem whatsoever. Play the plant now, I think. I don't think he's got a choice. Yeah. Probably doesn't want it. Oh, I don't like it when people take their hand off the table. Oh, one of my pet hates. Sorry. Uh, I think he was trying to get into that bad one there. Knowing he had a ball over the pocket. I think Mikey would be better playing with his opposite hand and blindfolded than me. Patch two, to be fair. If you are a top quality player and you're watching and you want to take on one of these two, this is their home club. So get in touch with Mr. Appleton. I'm sure he'll oblige with a game. <laughs> I don't think he wanted that in. At last, he's played all of these frames and it's just like watching me now. Mr. Bamford, I know you're not on Facebook. Um, if you want, do you want me to pass uh, your mobile on to Mr. Sykes? I can do that for you if you like. Oh, that's a good effort. Really good effort. 
think that could be match patchet though. I think that definitely could be match patchet. a half decent white but I feel that could be it Molly Zed's in the way typical as I say that he moves an intelligent shot doesn't need to go for anything and he knows it he's in total control of this frame hey Paul you've not upset anybody and you've got nothing to apologize for it's been good to have you on chat tonight not seen you on here before Sorry guys, last frame I haven't put the colours on, do apologise. <laughs> yeah, that's enough angle to get into these, that's for sure. Guaranteed a pot on something at least. Oh, absolutely lovely. Might as well take it now. Get yourself an even better angle. Should be all she wrote. <laughs> Perfect. Well played, Patch. Fantastic. Oh, <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> Sorry, Patch. I feel like I cursed you. I do apologise, mate. Like I say, mate, if you want more of the same, tune in tomorrow night and uh, click, you know, subscribe and click the bell. And uh, we do go live every Thursday. I can't promise you this standard. In fact, I, c I can promise you that it won't be this standard every single Thursday. But for our big money games on Fridays, Saturdays, yeah, the standard's really good. What a double! What a double! My word! What a way to win a frame of Paul! Fantastic! That was absolutely superb. Really hope you've enjoyed it, guys. I'm going to shut the stream down because, like I say, we're streaming again tomorrow night. Let me just press the button for the players. How often they don't press that button. Great game. Absolutely fantastic game. Cheers, Paul. Thank you very much. Hope to see you online tomorrow. Um, like I say, shut the stream down now. Tune in tomorrow night. 
and speak to you all again soon. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>